طقين تو ف اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد اكا سو سيدنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم when he reached the gates of the first heaven now the first heaven what does it resemble how large is it okay are all the heavens equal in size are they or are they not according to the hadith of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that this earth compared to the first heaven or the first heaven compared to the second heaven is, is that like a ring or the like of a ring thrown in, in a desert yani imagine getting your ring and throwing it in the Sahara desert and zoom out out of and just see the whole desert tens of thousands of kilometers would you, would you be able to see the ring no so that ring which is the first heaven we, where is the first heaven located yeah, but which is the heaven I love that one which is the heaven is it the heaven below the stars or above the stars above the stars so sama al dunya is the first layer of heaven which is the closest to us from here on the earth so the universe and the cosmos and everything in existence in universe how it expands is like a ring in the desert compared to the first heaven and the first heaven compared to the second heaven is like a ring in the desert now what's the comparison between the first and the, and the universe and the earth? Not even a speck, if you will be able to zoom out and see. And as well, third to the fourth, fourth to the fifth, until we reach seventh. And the seventh compared in size to the Kursi, is like a ring in the desert. And the Kursi compared to the Arsh, is like a ring in the desert. They said, no, well, that was many years ago when I was learning. Uh, with the uh, Amr Shaykh of Aqeedah. I'll have to get into it again. So you gotta, uh, you gotta give me time, inshallah ta'ala, we'll send it, inshallah. Yes, ma'am. Ya Rab, Ya Rab, Karim Allah. Okay, nah. You want me to eat for you, Habib? Nah. Allah. <laughs> okay, so why do, okay, so we went to the size, let's go back. The door opens, it knocks, Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam. Jibreel, the owner of 600 wings. But one wing of Israfil is equivalent to 600 ring, wings of Jibreel alayhi salam. Then the, the angel asked, but look at the ta'a of the angels. They love Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa But they still could not open the door until they understood that Allah gave permission. And look how Sayyidina Jibreel is trusted by the angels. They didn't question him. They didn't say, are you sure? They said, who is this? It's Jibreel. And who's with you? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they asked in a question form, has he been called for? And he said, yes, for the upper and straight away. And he entered, who did he say? <laughs> Prophet Adam alayhi salam. And one hadith, it mentions that after the salam, uh, something else happened in the first heavens. Okay? Uh, but then a time came when Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa looked towards his father again, Adam alayhi salam, and he seen a sight from Sayyidina Adam, which when he looked to his right, when Sayyidina Adam, Prophet Adam, Look towards his right, he will smile. He was happy. And then when he looked towards his left, tears will fall down, become sad. And Sayyidina Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked, Jibril, Ya Akhir Jibril, ma hada? Oh Jibril, what's going on with my father? Why is he looking towards the right? And he's rejoicing, being happy. When he turns towards the left, he's crying. He said, Ya Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The soul, he's seen the souls and his children, his offspring, till the end of days for his progeny, that these right 
handed souls that these souls from the right hand are entering paradise. Close happy. But when he's seen the souls on his left, from his progeny, he's seen them that they go into the hellfire. So he starts to cry. Sayyidina Adam. And how old was Sayyidina Adam when he passed away on this earth? 900? No, a bit more. Uh, they said 950, but it was said that it was 960. Because he gave 40 years to one of his sons. Some said 950, but it's more likely 960 because uh, it was said that Sayyidina Adam seen souls in front of Arwah. He's seen them. And he seen one of, from, from amongst them had an extra glow. And he said, who was that, O oh, Jibreel? They said, he said, this is one of your, your sons. They said, and this is their wood, alayhi salam. This is David. He said, I, bes- I beg Allah to give him from my life 40 years. Arab'ina. Arab'ina. And it was said that uh, Adam alayhi salam knew that his lifespan was a thousand years on earth. Or that his lifespan is a thousand years. Okay? A thousand years. And look at this, subhanAllah. That in the heavens, makatha uh, fiha uh, arab'ina. Some tafsir said that he stayed in the heavens with who? Yani with him and Eve, 40. Was it 40 years or 40 days or 40 months? We don't know. But 40 was there. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. So eventually he did, he did live out his thousand years. Just an interesting fact that we can know. And... Uh, so he died at the age of 950, 950 years or 960 years. So when the angel of death came to Sayyidina Adam on earth, he came to him when he was 960 years old. So Adam said, I still have more time, O oh angel of death. He said, don't you remember the gift that you gave to one of your children? He said, ah, yes, 40. I said, I'm ready to go. That's when he died. At that age, 950 or 60 years old. Fa'allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Yes. Okay. So their wood was supposed to live to 30 years old. Until he was gifted 45, his father Adam, and he lived to 70 years old. They said Prophet David passed away at 70 years old. They would have said. He needs to speak with the angel of death anyway. It's a different story. Now, he ascended to where? To the second heaven. He entered, and who did he say? Yahya and who? Isa alayhi salam. Jesus. So he's seen one that died on the earth and he's seen one that has not died just yet. Which was? Prophet Isa alayhi salam. Okay. And uh, Sayyidina Isa, he was at the age of 33 years old when he ascended, when he ascended to the heavens, Mahad, 33 years old, according to one tafsir. Sayyidina Yahya passed away at the age of 120 years. 120 years, and he was said, uh, nah, for 120 years. He passed away before Sayyidina Isa, as well they said. Because there was no prophet after her. Isa. When the prophet said, between me and my brother Jesus, there was no prophets. So that's how we know that Yahya had to die before Jesus ascended. That's how we know. Okay. So, and Sayyidina Isa, alayhi salam, gave salam, and Sayyidina Yahya gave salam. Then he went to the third heaven. And who did he say? Yusuf alayhi salam was given half the beauty of creation. He was given half the beauty of creation. And then Sayyidina Rasulullah ascended to the fourth heaven. Uh-huh. And Sayyidina Yusuf, it was said that Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam was 110 years old when he passed away. 
Sayyidina Yusuf was 110 years old when he passed away. Okay? And who was the father of Sayyidina Yusuf? Yaqub So now the fourth heaven. Who's in the fourth heaven? Nabi Allah Idris. Idris, Idris, they said he was the father of Nuh or the grandfather of Nuh. Okay? So Idris, alayhi salam, Enoch. In biblical terms, Enoch, Idris alayhi uh, salam. He was the first mujahid in Islam to actually fight against other humans who fell into Fahsha and Munkar. Okay, he was the first mujahid to go to, yani, to jahid fi sabidillah. And he was the first khattat, first one to write with a pen. Sayyidina Idris alayhi salam. And when he, he was the first one to stitch material together to make slaves and so forth. Before they'll just wrap garments. He was taught how to stitch and make slaves and so forth. Okay? And with each thread, he will make dhikr of Allah. If he missed that one thread, if he, even if he done a thousand threads, he missed one thread, or he done one thre thread without Glorifying Allah, He will unthread everything and start again. Dhikr Allah, Yashfina. Dhikr of Allah cures us. Ala bi dhikr Allah, tatama innu al qulub. That surely within the remembrance of Allah, the hearts are cured and the hearts receive contentment. Okay? And his story was that he wanted to see the situation of the heavens. Long story short, he was taken up by angels. He was sent by Saint Jibril to the fourth heaven. And he seen the beauty of the fourth heaven. And he said, Ya Allah, oh Allah, so beautiful, I don't want to go back. So Allah uh, accepted his supplication. And then he was living a while until his time came. And he was said, Sayyidina Idris, just survived for some say 130 years, maybe, or, or maybe uh, 380 years. Allahu Alam, we're not sure. Okay, but Allah knows best. And Idris was taken there, saying, uh, uh, Malik al Maut, for Allah said, Go to the fourth heaven and collect the soul of my slave Idris. Malik al Maut is now. Wandering in the heavens, but he didn't question. He's sticking away on earth. He goes to the fourth heaven and says, Idris alayhi salam, Ya ayyatuha nafs al mutma'inna, irji'i ila rabbika radiyatan mardiyya. For he died in the heavens. Sayyidina uh, Idris, that's why there's no maqam, no uh, grave for him on planet earth, or on earth now. For that was the fourth heaven, Mahak. He re now he reached the fifth heaven. Who was in the fifth heaven? Harun, Aaron alayhi salam, Harun alayhi salam, who was the uh, brother of Musa alayhi salam. Musa and, Har uh, and uh, Harun had the same mother, but different fathers. He said, Oh, Mahabi, take care of us. Sayyidina Musa was younger in age than Harun alayhi salam. Sayyidina Musa was younger in age. Okay? The father of Harun passed away. Then uh, Imran, who was a uh, elite soldier, but he was an honest man. He was an honest man. And they said that it, he was a believer in a monotheism, a, a monotheistic religion, believing in one God. Okay? And as well, the mother of Musa. <laughs> Okay, so Harun alayhi salam, and they said that Sayyidina Harun passed at the age of 122 years old. Harun died after Sayyidina uh, uh, Musa alayhi salam at the age of 122. So he might have lived maybe uh, a few months or weeks after Musa alayhi salam. He didn't live that long. Okay, because one took after him was Nabi Allah Yusha alayhi salam. The one that they say he's buried in 
المنيا ان ليبنون اند اكورد تو تايم لاين اند جيوغرافيك اريا ذا هي ليف ان ذا دعوة اكورد تو ذا قصص الانبياء اتس مور اوثنتيك ذا هي باست اواي ان الشام نو ان تركي اند نو ان جوردن اند نو ان ايجيبت وات ايفر ذا سي ات واز ان المنيا اند اكورد تو ذا ديسكربشن اوف ذا بيبل were described the people of Lebanon, basically. Okay? Something happened. But anyway, that's Nabiullah Yusha, who took over the role of conveying the message from Sayyidina Musa and Harun. So now, sixth heaven is Prophet Musa alayhi salam. In the sixth heaven, Musa alayhi salam, uh, he passed away at the age of uh, 120. So her, they say Harun, 122, 126. A bit of uh, So now he went to the, which heaven? Seven. Seventh heaven. And he sees Sayyidina Ibrahim al-Khalil. And Sayyidina Ibrahim, alayhi salatu salam, uh, passed away at the age of 175, more or less. 175 years. Okay. And they said, the Prophet وسلم, said he seen him leaning on the Bayt al-Ma'mur. And 70,000 angels will enter the uh, heavenly built house. And when they come out, other 70,000. But the Prophet said something interesting. He said, that batch won't have another turn to go in. How would he know? Who told him? Or did Allah show him other visions? Very interesting. If we have more time, we can get into some theories. But then as well, when Prophet Abraham was, was uh, greeting Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, the Prophet as well seen children around him in another narration. Playing and rejoicing. Some sit on his lap, they get off, and then some come, like his grandchildren. As I can see. And the Prophet asked, who are these children? He said, these are the ones who passed away, who passed away either in the womb, when they got their soul, or they passed away as toddlers, infants. So Ibrahim is taking care of them. He's allocated to be their caretaker until they meet their parents once again on Judgment Day. Said Ibrahim as well. Uh, was known, is known to be the caretaker of the children who passed away. Said Ibrahim alayhi salam. Then he said something, said Ibrahim said something profound. He said, Ya Rasulullah, O my son, message of Allah. Said Ibrahim is speaking. Tell your nation, your ummah, that the land the lands of paradise are bare but very ripe, but empty. It's got good soil, nothing on it. And it's plantation and seeds is, which will grow and become beautiful uh, trees. So the seed for your, it's not a physical seed. So tell them to plant in that land by glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every time you glorify Allah, you get one tree in Jannah. And that glorification is subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. You get one tree. Some nurse said ten trees. And each, each tree has a shadow of a hundred years. How <laughs> big is Jannah? Allahu akbar. And we'll leave you at that when Sayyidina Rasulullah now will describe to you some descriptions of Sidrat al Muntaha, a Sidra that has a waraq on it that, that resemble a Udun al Fil and play jugs. We'll leave it till next week, inshallah. We want to really focus on that. And then maybe we'll merge it in with the gift that he received from Allah. For his ummah, and did the Prophet see Allah or not?